for some reason it started filming now, I don't know. Cool car. Time loop. The stickers? Nice. Yeah. I like this is either 94 or 95. This is a, a facelift model already. And that's cool. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So which is so he said he replaced the fuel pump on it, but it still doesn't turn on. He thinks it's a mouse uh, issue, but uh, it may not be. It's probably something else. Yep. That's cool. <sighs> cool machine, man. I'm gonna get it running, Vlad. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like this one too. This is a 116. This one went before 126, Vlad. Yeah, we're here checking out these legends and trying to get them back on the road while I'm here. We can. But that's really cool. And lights. Oh, guys, this was awesome. This person showed us uh, his amazing old school machines that he saved, but he's trying to see if I can help him get it, to get them running and stuff like that. So we're going to come back yes. to it at some point this month. And... We'll work on them a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Give him thumbs up. It's a nice car. It's actually sick. Give us attention. Give us attention. Sir. Beep. I, I love your car, sir! Oh, thanks. Yeah, I love E38s. They're cool. They're so amazing. Yeah. I love your car. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, we are getting close to the place. Yeah. Guys, we're about to work on some amazing machines with Vlad today. Be sure to follow Vlad and me on Instagram. <laughs> engines we're gonna work on them today oh yeah that's good Ooh. I'm not hearing a fuel pump. So we're gonna add this to it and see. Throttle body is on or something. Okay, we're gonna try again. Let's see if it starts. Hey, more psh, psh. you, you. Psh. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. Dog. We're good. So basically the fuel pump is not coming on with the key on. That's really strange. But when you first connect the battery, it comes on for a few seconds. So there's some kind of wiring or some kind of problem here. So we have to figure that out. These uh, plug wires, uh, this one is like chewed up, whatever. Somehow here. So he said he changed the spark plugs on it, which is a good thing, but. Okay, so mm, put this cover back on. Some bolts are missing. I don't know where they are. The owner said he replaced the spark plugs on it. But oh well. Uh, wiring harness does not look the best. So it will need to be replaced. But we were able to get it cranked up yesterday. Late at night. So what I need to do right now basically uh, is I'm just going to put this intake piece back on because, you know, we tried spraying the starting fluid and it starts up. So spark is there. Everything's fine. So we're going to go after the fuel problem. It looks like coolant is low as well. There's nothing. Oh, man, this machine also sat for a long time, probably 30 years, but it was cranking. So let's go ahead and put this elbow back clean it some more here so now put some silicone paste right there i'm gonna put this elbow back in just want to see this car complete you know what i mean clean this up a little but you know you have to have it like crazy power washed i think some of it is could be cosmoline too but i don't know no i don't think so not on this one so fuses have been replaced on it looks like that's cool so most of the stuff i mean it's uh, yeah, so i don't like seeing that no cap here what happened there hmm interesting that's not good but yeah i mean most of it is complete as like from what i can see the harness is definitely bad but yeah, it's crazy. So I installed this part now. I'm gonna focus on the fuel pump relay. So on this wagon, it's actually located right there. There's a green relay, that's the fuel pump. And on 124s, it depends on what year you have, what model. I mean, it can be in the fuse box, it can be elsewhere. I think on some coupes, it's like under this front seat somewhere. Not too sure, but it just depends. So I'm gonna take this Klima first out so I can get access to that fuel pump. Possibility right now, there's um, water in there. So maybe when I plug the battery in, it's, it shorts out. I mean, it's basically it activates. So anytime I put this cable on to reconnect the battery, the fuel pump comes on for a couple seconds. But with the turning of the key, it does not do anything. So this is what happens. Hear that? It's so weird because the antenna comes on, fuel pump comes on for a couple seconds, and then anytime the battery is connected, the throttle body is just buzzing. It's very strange. So I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of some extra wires here and there, and I don't know who was doing here something. I don't know, but need to figure some stuff out here there's a, also a bunch of leaves here the drains are clogged man why can't people take care of these amazing machines huh here's the fuel pump relay the fuse inside is good and right now when i connected the fuel pump doesn't activate but now i'm trying to see why it doesn't activate with um turning of the key which it should and then I also want to check the fuel pressure. I took the cap off. I'm going to see if anything will spray. 
there was something, but I don't think there was much. Definitely not much. Not much at all. And I just had it activated a couple, like maybe two minutes ago. So right now the key is on and I'm not getting power where I'm supposed to. This is on the 86, it's supposed to get power. And then on the 30, we do have power, but we don't have power on the 86 or whatever. So now I gotta check the grounds. And then the problem is that the 86 one, it goes, they both go from the computer. So uh, it really sucks. So now it's connected to positive. We're gonna check the grounds on this relay. Two grounds are good. So here's the deal. That wire that I'm not getting power on, um, it, to the fuel pump relay, it's coming from the engine computer. And the thing is that this harness is so trash that I don't even want to touch it or anything. The throttle body is on right now and the key is off and it's buzzing. So the throttle body itself probably has shorts in it and all that stuff. So it's really good, bad stuff honestly going on. So I'm not going to touch that. So in order for me to activate the fuel pump with the key on, we're just going to do a temporary fix. So I'm going to rob the power from one of these things, which is... Um, from the B. B right here is the safety belt, handover arm adjustable heated outside rear mirrors, roller, sun visor. So we're just gonna add another power to a power wire to it right here. And it's gonna feed that pin on the fuel pump. Um, that's what we're gonna do. And then that way I can install the fuel pump relay and we're gonna have I also made sure that this comes on, this power comes on only with the key on. So that's good. That's what you want with the key on. So this is what I'm trying to do right now. This is obviously not a professional fix. This is a temporary fix because I don't want to mess with the engine harness right now. And the owner, the same thing. He doesn't want to do that right now at this moment. And I don't want to disturb any wires, not even computer wires, because and the reason why the fuel pump really doesn't work or doesn't come on when the key is on. It could be because it, literally that wire is supposed to come out of the engine control module. And I'm more than sure it's not an OVP uh, relay. The fuse on top of the OVP is okay, um, literally. So it's possible that maybe the computer or something in the computer just got fried from that wiring harness. And now it's not sending another plus, another positive wire, 12 volts into the fuel pump relay for the other side, for the control side. So that's the problem. So right now I'm gonna basically gonna be kind of like bypassing the engine uh, harness or the engine computer, if you wanna call it that way. So here's what's happening. With the key on, the power is gonna go from that fuse to the fuel pump relay. And then I'm gonna put the fuel pump relay on top, literally. And then we're gonna see what happens. It's a very clumsy job, I agree. But like I said, this is a temporary repair because I'm not gonna put another computer in it right now just to find out that the harness is gonna fry another computer for me. So we just wanna kinda make it run and it's gonna stay on there just fine. So now I'm just gonna install it like this. It's on the 86 contact that goes from the computer. And this is the power with the key on is gonna deliver the power to this pin and it's gonna activate the relay. The only difference is that this relay once the key is on the fuel pump is going to be running constantly so that's the only uh, difference so after activation of the fuel pump there's still no barely any fuel pressure so we're going to probably loosen up these lines and see what's going on gotta love mercedes man these are all coming apart easily Crazy. This car sat also for 30 years. And the fuel does not smell good in this thing. So now I'm gonna activate the pump, just turn the key on so it runs. I'm gonna probably put a towel here. Okay, so I'm about to turn the key on. Pumps are running. They're 
There's nothing coming out, dude. Nothing. That's not good. The fuel pump is running. Okay, turn the key off. Let's see what's going on. Probably have to go to the filter area. Investigate. So we just popped up the tires. Gonna put the car on the ground right now. And then we're gonna jack up this side. See what's up with this fuel pump issue. Hmm. Fuel pump has been replaced. I'm gonna see if there's any fuel in it. I can take this guy out too. So he installed this eBay pump. I don't know, like not too long ago. Probably some China garbage. And I told him that I only recommend Bosch. So now that pump, actually, there's another pump right there. That one is working. It's buzzing. This one's not. So we got to change this thing. Yeah. But first I'm going to check the power ground. Make sure she's good here. Let's see. This pump is important actually. Oh, it's right from the tank. So now I'm gonna see. Okay, so he's gonna go inside and turn the key on. Now we're gonna see if we're getting power. There we go, we're getting power. This pump is bad. Lesson learned. Do not buy Chinese garbage pumps for $20. Okay, well, I'm gonna disconnect the battery now. We're gonna drain the tank. We're gonna order the proper pump. And then she will, she will be running after that. I'll let it drain like this because we have to screw it back in and drain that pan into this big container. This is the fuel that drained out from this tank. So still draining the wagon guys. There's a bunch of fuel like the gauge was showing half a tank as well i really want to clean this right here it's so nasty it's kind of how my wagon was yeah Okay, I got the drains unclogged. Okay, so cleaned up a bunch of the engine bay. It's gonna be drying up right now. Uh, unclogged both drains left and right. This one is still clogged, so I might have to actually disassemble that. I don't know if I'll be doing that or not, the owner. But this right here, I put it all back. It's gonna be drying. I have to ask the owner where the rest of the filter box is. And yeah, cleaned up some of this area too. I mean, it's a lot more nicer now, man. Next time we'll get it running. Well, that's it for today. Till another time. 
Okay guys, so the story about this one is the owner got the brand new fuel pump. He already installed it there. It's a Bosch fuel pump. But the problem is that this hose right here on this side, he broke it. So now I'm gonna have to fix it. And I still have to pull this out all the way to replace the O-ring and to clean that fuel tank screen. So it's gonna be the um, task that we have to do on this car. This is a little bit dirty. So you can see how dirty this is and this O-ring is just flat. That's why you have to replace the O-ring. It's funny, this one says benzene, gasoline. Okay, so I got this cleaned up as much as possible. Clean this area right here. I'm about to install this O-ring as well. I'm gonna get going. We have a new hose right there this is the old one that the owner broke but i'm gonna cut this barb right here and then we'll be able to just use a new hose with clamps and i've done it on many cars it's just fine nothing will happen it will not leak 